What's up, Buck? Doug with Dini in the garage. I gotta warn you, this has nothing to do with Jeeps, has nothing to do with automotives, automotive history. It's just something I've been thinking about with the Thanksgiving holiday tomorrow. Uh, I was thinking about holidays and the break and Thanksgiving, and it occurred to me that Thanksgiving is hands down the best holiday. Might not be the best overall season, but as far as a holiday, the single day goes, Thanksgiving has every other holiday beat. And I have seven reasons uh, why. Uh, I was gonna do 10, but I proved it in seven, so I do more work than you have to. Uh, so why don't you go ahead, get yourself a coffee, let's get into it. Alrighty, I marked these in order from seven down to one, one being the most important to my case. All right, number seven, potentially perfect weather. Now, this isn't a huge deal, but if you think about all the holidays and when they fall during the year, Thanksgiving has the highest potential for what I'm gonna call perfect weather. And what I mean by that is weather that's gonna allow you to do something after the meal, do something with the rest of the day, all right? Fourth of July is great, but there's a high potential for it to be hot as hell on thanks on a Fourth of July. You're not gonna wanna do anything outside. Nobody wants to run around playing touch football when it's 90 degrees you know what I mean? Or potentially raining as it is sometimes in July. The, any holiday in the winter, there's way too high potential for there to be a foot of snow on the ground. Thanksgiving has that perfect, like might be like 50 degrees, you put on a sweatshirt, go take a hike after dinner, go uh, even go work on a Jeep, man. You know what I mean? Get, get all full of turkey and go work on a Jeep. Potentially perfect weather. Number six, no religious obligation. Nothing against religion, all right? But the religious obligations that go with like Easter or Christmas, they take away from the day. It's stressful, man. There's no midnight uh, mass for Thanksgiving. You don't have to get up and put your church clothes on before you go and eat the turkey. There's no uh, special foods you have to, oh, you can only eat fish. Thanksgiving just is Thanksgiving for its own sake. It's an awesome secular holiday. There's no uh, overtones of anything else, no uh, mass, no church, no special foods, no rituals, no ceremonies, no candles. Just food and football, man. Just food and football. Number five, four day weekend. You can count on that four day weekend every year. Thanksgiving's on a Thursday, you get Black Friday off, then you have your normal weekend. All right, that's not so with other holidays. So like Easter, you get a three day weekend. You might not even get that if you don't get Black Friday off. Everybody in the whole United States gets that four day weekend. You can count on it every single year. That's a beautiful thing. I know I look forward to it. Number four, no gifts. This is huge. Nothing against gifts. Love getting gifts, love giving gifts, but it's stressful, man. From like December 15th until sometime in the middle of January, anytime you go anywhere, you have to be concerned that somebody's gonna give you a gift and you didn't get them a gift. And that kind of hampers my enjoyment of the whole season. It's not like that with Thanksgiving. I don't have to get a gift. At most, you have to bring a pie or some mashed potatoes to dinner. And you get to eat those too, you know what I mean? It is such a relaxing holiday because there's no religious obligation and there's no expectation of gifts, all right? It doesn't take away from just enjoying the day, just being with your family, with your friends, and just enjoying yourself. Number three, football. I know not everywhere in the country, and especially not in the world, enjoys uh, American football, but I certainly do. I friggin' love football. It's the only sport I can really watch. I like hockey, but I don't watch as much football. Uh, and on Thanksgiving, football is just special, all right? Sunday football is chaotic. And it's almost, there's so much of it, it's almost stressful. There's like 10 games going on at once. You know what I mean? You're trying to keep up with it. And then the primetime games, especially for me living on the East Coast, they suck, man. They start at 8.20. Uh, I'm trying to be in bed. I put the kid to bed at 9. I'm trying to be asleep myself by like 10. Now I, there's a friggin' Bears game on, uh, you know, Sunday night. I got to stay up until 11, biting my nails. Then I'm so stressed from the game, I can't go to sleep. It's not like that at Thanksgiving. Football's on all day. There's one game on at a time. And the other thing, everybody enjoys football on Thanksgiving. All right? I've never been to a Thanksgiving where football wasn't on in the background. And people who don't normally enjoy football, they get into it. Everybody gathers around. I'm a Bears fan, diehard Bears fan. Um, the Bears almost always play. Then you got the Cowboys Indians, you know, Cowboys Redskins game. That's cool. That's an, uh, an American Thanksgiving tradition and it makes the holiday. You know, you can just you eat everything you want, then you go and everybody sits in the living room and they watch whatever, you know, the good game is. Uh, and everybody gets into it. People that don't even usually watch football get into it. It's a very, very special day if you are a football fan. It's the most relaxing uh, football watching you'll really ever get because uh, it's the middle of the day. You know, you don't have work the next day real men. Number two, the food. Now it was hard to not put this at number one, but I'm going to get to what number one is, and this is obvious. The food. The food makes Thanksgiving. All right? It's comfort food. It's that all-American turkey, mashed potatoes, green bean casserole, stuffing. 
everybody likes Thanksgiving food. Everybody likes Thanksgiving food, you know? Um, and the, the more important thing is not what the food is, it's the fact that the food is the centerpiece. Like I said, there's no religious ab uh, obligation, there's no gifts. Like Christmas, Christmas is awesome, and you pretty much have the same food at Christmas that you would at Thanksgiving. But the centerpiece of Christmas is the religious aspect, is the gift giving. Uh, Easter, there's the religious aspect. The center, that's all that Thanksgiving is, it's the food. You're celebrating the, the first Thanksgiving feast by feasting. Food and a little bit of football. That's all you have to do, and it's friggin' awesome. Fun fact: uh, my dad doesn't actually do like the the big turkey thing. Usually, he does uh, 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 sushi. <laughs> he usually serves sushi for Thanksgiving. I don't know how that tradition started, but whatever. It's cool. And you know, we, even if it's not turkey, the sushi is the centerpiece. That's what we are doing. Everybody looks forward to that food. Like my wife and I were just talking about it last night. She doesn't particularly like turkey, but she looks forward to it on Thanksgiving. She has her turkey for the year and she's you know, enjoyed it. My grandfather was the same way. He hated poultry, but on Thanksgiving, he'd have a big old plate of turkey, you know what I mean? It's the centerpiece of the holiday. And what is better than a holiday that's centered around food? Everybody loves eating, right? Everybody loves eating, 100%. The number one reason, the number one reason, and this is actually, this thought is what led me to the whole, holy crap, Thanksgiving's the best freaking holiday. Um, and, and then I started thinking about other reasons and I was like, dang, there's a whole list here. The fact that Thanksgiving falls at the beginning of the four day weekend, this is huge. Think about like Easter. Yeah, you probably get a three day weekend. Most people get Black Friday off, but the holiday itself is on that Sunday and you know you have to go to work the next day. I can't, personally, I can't truly enjoy a holiday knowing full well that I have to go to work the next day. I'm thinking about making my lunch and did I put get enough gas in the Jeep and I gotta lay my clothes out, is the laundry done? It's not like that with Thanksgiving. You have it at, on Thursday, you do all the craziness, all the food, all the friends, all the family, all the football, and then you just have three free days. And moreover, I've found most people don't make plans for those three days. They're just open days. Everybody assumes that everyone else is going to be either out uh, trying to murder each other over Black Friday sales or in a food coma for the next three days. So everybody just chills. My wife and I, we're taking advantage of it. We're going to paint our living room. <laughs> Nobody's asking us to come over. Nobody's asking to come over. We're just going to do our, our Thanksgiving thing. And then we're going to go hibernate and paint the living room. Um, this isn't the case. Like, thanks. If you think about Christmas this year, right? Just to just to really illustrate this, you're gonna get a four-day weekend with Christmas, right? This year it's on Tuesday, so you're gonna go to work Friday like normal. You get Saturday, Sunday. That's your normal weekend. Christmas Eve is Monday, and then Christmas, arguably the biggest holiday of the year, is on Tuesday, and then you have to go to work the next day. I'm not gonna be able to enjoy it as much. You're not going away. Like Thanksgiving, you can take off a little early on Wednesday, drive somewhere, have your whole four day weekend, enjoy the holiday, and then make your way back slowly on Sunday. You're not driving on a holiday. That is huge. The worst one, the worst offender of this uh, rule is uh, 4th of July, man. I hate it when the 4th of July is on like a Tuesday. Cause then you go to work Monday, you get Tuesday off, but what are you gonna do with one day off? I love celebrating 4th of July, but unless it falls on a Friday or a Saturday, Mm, kind of sucks. Kind of sucks. Same thing with St. Patrick's Day. All right, people love St. Patrick's Day. It's like it's the biggest day of drinking of the year. But when it falls on a Wednesday, that's ridiculous. What are you gonna go to work Wednesday at five? Go out and get absolutely smashed, and have to be at work on uh, on Thursday? You know, like I'm not even a big drinker, but like I, you know, I'd like to go and you know, maybe hang out at a bar, go whatever. My wife and I go find a corned beef sandwich or something. It's not as enjoyable. All right, holiday's not as enjoyable if I know I have to go to work the next day. That's all there is to it. Uh, and that's the list, man. That's the list, all right? Yeah, I like the Christmas season more than I like the day of Thanksgiving. All right, Christmas season's awesome. My wife, uh, she's a big Halloween person. We do a lot for uh, Halloween and everything, decorate for the whole season. But as far as the actual day, there's no day better over the course of the year than Thanksgiving. It's just so relaxing so chill, so little obligation, great weather, great food, great football. I love it. Speaking of great football, uh, if I got any Bears fans out there, and I know some of you have said you are, uh, you, <laughs> say your prayers, man, because Trubisky's looking like he might be a little bit injured, and I do not want to see a Chase Daniels-led uh, Chicago Bears team starting on Thanksgiving, right? Thanksgiving is canceled if Trubisky can't be throwing. That's all I'm saying. Uh, there's the list, guys. Let me know what you think. Uh, like I said, my dad for many years did sushi on Thanksgiving. Is there anything else crazy that y'all do for Thanksgiving? If you're not in the United States, do other countries. I don't think many other countries do anything like Thanksgiving, but perhaps you have 
your own holiday that's unique to your country that's along the same lines and I'd be interested to know uh, what those are let me know what you're eating let me know what you're doing to celebrate uh, let me know what football you're gonna be watching uh, I hope you all stay happy healthy and entertained this Thanksgiving uh, keep an eye out uh, Eric and I are releasing a little update video um, it's, it's Wednesday now, tomorrow's Thanksgiving. Tomorrow we're gonna be releasing a little update video. Some things going on with the channel, some things that are new we're introducing, some questions. I'd love it if you guys would check it out so I can get your feedback. Like I said, stay happy, healthy, and entertained. Uh, look out for more videos. Uh, if you got some time, go ahead and check out uh, JTM Off-Road and the Bearded Jeeper. They got tons of videos that'll keep you entertained while you're recovering from your uh, turkey comas. As always, thanks for watching. See you next time.